Okay. Okay. Um, we're talking today with uh, Pete Van Heren, who, with his wife Megan, owns and operates as a partnership with his father-in-law, the Main Street Grind sandwich and coffee business in Mile City. It's on the block that was devastated by a fire in March 2009 that destroyed multiple businesses. Theirs is the first business to open in the ashes of that fire. It opened one year exact to the day after the fire. Pete, um, you've mentioned the, the hands-on. Can you discuss the hands-on aspect of putting this business together? You and Megan moved up here from Las Vegas with uh, back to Las Vegas. You're both Montanans, but with yeah. after a little gentle persuasion from her dad, yeah. and then went to work to get this business open. Can you discuss that a bit? Yeah, it was just from uh, day one after we got got here from uh, Las Vegas. We were inside the building, and it was just when it was just bare walls. So they just had the framing up with the uh, uh, boards on the side. There was there was no insulation or anything. We were in, I was in here the next day just, you know, helping out uh, the electrical company, the general contractor, Oakland, uh, doing everything from helping with wiring, drilling holes, uh, putting some, some siding up, painting. And when all that was done and we got everything textured on the inside, we started doing flooring. Mm -hmm. Everything. We, you know, put the flooring down, the tile, the slate, the, the walnut that's in there. Uh, we even covered the posts with stuff, too. So we were uh, every day working all day long, you know, trying to get this place done within a... Uh, it was like a two and a half month uh, frame of time that we were you, working off of. Yeah, you opened in in March of 2010, so backtracking two and a half months. This was right after Christmas. Before was it even before Christmas that you were working on of of '09? You know, when when did you, when did you said you arrived back in Montana? Oh well, we left uh, January. January of okay. this year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And 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 you had uh, you had to. You, you mentioned that you had to drive pretty much in a blizzard all the way up oh, yeah. here. You're that driving fun, at 30 yeah. miles an hour through West Yellowstone. Did you did you both, even though you're both Montanans, you know Montanans are hardy folks, but did yeah. you ever look at each other and say, what in the world are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was more of a more of a kind of happy to just see weather again, you know? Mm -hmm. I think we're both just both growing up in Montana and having, you know, all four seasons and then of course the extreme, extreme winter. But uh, it was just nice to see that again after being in, in the desert for, for however long and not having anything but sun all yeah. the time. You know, yeah. I mean, the sun's a blessing, but it's just it's just too much after <laughs> too that. Too much you know? of a good thing, huh? Like over a thousand days worth of sun, you're just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Another sunny day. Please yeah. let's have some clouds. Yeah, <laughs> I, all, all we wanted was a rainy day. That's all we wanted. So the winter, I mean, driving through that type of weather was... Uh, it's kind of like second nature for me too. We'd take, I'd taken trips a lot as a kid up to Canada in uh -huh. the middle of winter. Yeah. So, but it was really enjoyable actually, to be honest with you. Even though we were doing 30 miles an hour the whole way. Well, and w one other thing, what do you think about um, the, the, the spirit of, of the Mile City community? Even though you're from Billings, but you've you've been here maybe long enough, and your father-in-law is a Mile City guy, yeah. and your 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 wife was at least part of her growing up was spent here. Yeah. And your impressions of, of the Mile City attitude after um, after a devastating event like the fire that took out a good share of the block where your building where your business is sitting. Yeah. What, 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 you, uh, what impression have you got in terms of rebuilding and then and then the, you know, getting your business going? Yeah. Well, it was pretty. It was pretty amazing. Really. Uh, Really very inspiring too because everyone in town was looking forward to seeing what the business had and what was going to happen once the business was ready to roll. And uh, we used local contractors, you know, from from the laying the concrete, the foundation, and everything, to the building, to the plumbing, to the electrical work, the glass, uh, uh, the signs. Everything we did was, was from the local community, and everybody was just so excited. It was such a, a positive energy and a really positive reinforcement. Uh, you know, throughout the whole process, and, and from when everybody heard about what, what was gonna go here to when it opened, and even till now, everyone on a daily basis that comes in, you know, it's just such a positive, exciting energy all the time. Great, it's really, really nice. Great. Well, thank you, Pete. Of I course. Think, I think we better let you get back to uh, <laughs> brewing coffee and. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> making sandwiches and, <laughs> and bread and all the fine products here. Oh yeah, thank Pre you. Appreciate your time. Thank you, my pleasure.